Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 125. That is, what are software testing metrics? Let me answer. Before understanding what are software testing metrics, let's understand the term metrics. What does the term metrics mean? Metrics means scale of measurement, okay? You can measure anything in this world. You can measure the weight of the vegetables. You can uh, measure the height of something. Everything is a measurement case, okay? Weight, height, and all those stuff are measurements. Similarly, when you are performing different testing activities, you can measure them with the help of software testing metrics, okay? With the help of software testing metrics, you can measure this different testing activities, testing activities that you are performing as part of the project. So what are software testing metrics? Software testing metrics are used to measure and monitor different testing activities, not only about measurement, guys, why we have to measure? In order to monitor them, we have to track these testing activities, where they are going on, okay? How much percentage we completed, how much percentage is pending, how much we can, all these things are part of the software testing metrics, guys. Using the software testing metrics, we are going to measure and monitor different testing activities. I'll give you some examples uh, of uh, measuring and monitoring the different testing activities as part of software testing metrics. So here are the examples, guys, okay? Let me show you how many test cases created is a metric, right? So how many test cases the software testers have created so far? How many test cases are to be created, yet to be created, which are pending? How many are there? How many test cases are executed, okay? How many, how many test cases you executed? Really run them, okay? How many test cases are passed as part of the execution? You see, you can also calculate or measure how many test cases got passed in the executed test cases, how many test cases got failed, how many test cases got blocked. Each and everything is a metric here, measurement. We are doing some measurement of the testing activities with an intention of monitoring them, tracking them, where we are standing, what is our progress, we are tracking them. How many test cases are not executed? What is the percentage of the test coverage, okay? So if 100%, how much percentage of testing you are done with? That is also a metric. How many number of defects you have identified? Okay, the testing team has identified in the project. So how many critical? So it's not only about the how many defects identified, how many critical CVRT defects identified, how many high CVRT defects identified, how many medium CVRT defects identified, how many low CVRT defects identified, how many defects that are still there in the application or application functionalities and which are not yet fixed by the developers, existing defects in a module or functionality or an application, okay? And uh, we can also measure the defect density. What is defect density? Number of defects identified for per requirement, okay? For each and every requirement, how many defects are coming? That is what is defect density. Then defect removal efficiency. That means, so after the testing phase is completed, after the testing phase is completed and the software has been released into the market, okay? If the customers, that is end users, are also finding some defects that testing team has not found, then this can be calculated, okay? defect removal efficiency can be calculated, which is nothing but number of defects found during testing by the testing team divided by, again, the number of uh, defects found during testing by testing team plus number of defects found by end users, okay? So if, let's say, assume that the testing team has identified 10 defects, okay? And uh, the end users have identified two defects, 10 divided by 10 plus two, that is 12, okay? 10 by 12 into 100, that's what is the defect eff uh, removal efficiency, okay? That's how we calculate. Then how how many? Uh, it's ultimately, guys, how many defects that the testing team were able to eliminate uh, before releasing the software into the market is nothing but this measurement or metric. Okay, then we have defect leakage. How many defects got leaked? Okay, so after the testing team is after the testing is done by the testing team, the software will be given to the UIT. Okay, it will be sent to the user acceptance testing. So defects missed by the testing team during their testing time and. Uh, if the defects are also found by the, uh, in UAT, some defects are found, number of defects found in UAT, which comes after the system testing phase, by number of defects found during the system testing phase, okay, in 200, that is defect leakage. How many defects the testing team has not found? That is defect leakage in simple words. Number of defects by priority. So number of urgent priority defects, how many number of high priority, everything is a metric here, you see, measurement. Number of medium priority defects, number of low priority defects, everything can be calculated, every testing activity can be measured. Okay, with the help of the software testing metrics, different software testing metrics. Number of test cases failed due to a defect, okay? If there is a defect due to that, how many test cases got impacted? How many test cases are getting failed? That also is a metric. Number of lines of code tested, okay? Number of requirements, how many requirements we have? Average number of requirements written for, uh, sorry, here, uh, average number of test cases, sorry, okay? 
average number of test cases written for given requirement for each and every requirement uh, uh, i mean uh, on an average if you have 100 requirements and you have 1000 test cases means on an average how many have written 10 test cases for each and every requirement on, uh, on an average you have created right that is a that is another metric total number of test cases written for all requirements if there are 100 and uh, how many test cases 1000 test cases let's say okay so for all the requirements how many test cases you created and many more metrics are possible guys okay these are just an example list only what are i gave here use a is a example list okay the common example list of software testing metrics that we generally everything every testing activity can be measured like this guys either it can be test cases it can be requirements it can be defects or anything can be tested guys okay so what is the advantage of measuring then okay what is the advantage of these metrics are what is the advantage of measuring something so let me give you the advantages of measuring something so what will happen uh, if you measure something what is the advantage guys you will get to know the current status okay uh, you will get to know the, the project manager or who is actually running the project will or the test lead who is owner who is taking ownership of the testing activities in the project will get to know what is the current status of the project and other stakeholders also will get to know what is the current status of the project okay where the testing team is standing okay how much they completed how much they are to complete all these things they can understand they can they can track the current status of the project and uh, estimate further things also okay so in the remaining time okay in the remaining time how much they can complete they can estimate in the next iteration or something how much they how much work they can complete and uh, to complete that kind of work in the remaining time they can plan it effectively right this many th this much work is left this much time is left so i need to we need to plan like this okay we have to work an extra hour okay to complete this task like that they can plan something this is what is the advantage of the metric guys by measuring something we know the current status and uh, where we are standing whether we have to improve or whether what we have to do everything will come to know we can estimate the further things also the, this work will be completed by this time okay so like that we can estimate so uh, and um, and plan them okay and plan them properly so these are the advantages guys we can track the current progress of the testing with the help of the metrics software testing metrics we can track the current progress of the testing where we are standing in testing whether we can we are able to come we'll be able to complete in time or not in the given time and estimates okay we can estimate the time and cost guys okay the how much time it will take more time to complete the remaining task or work in the as part of testing and how much cost is involved okay so based on the pending activities to be performed we can decide that we can estimate the time and cost okay that is uh, extra needed to complete the work we can know the current quality of the software okay so based on the test coverage or something we can decide like based on how many test cases we have executed we can understand what is the current quality of the software how much amount of so uh, software has been tested based on that we can decide the quality of the software okay so uh, depending on the type of bugs we are getting or defects we are getting or that are uh, pending fixing from the developers we can we can uh, we can measure the quality of the software also okay if the software is having few uh, less pending uh, minor kind of issues okay low severity defects then it, you can say that quality of the software is high in that case you see with the help of metrics we can decide that we can know whether we are productive in testing or need to change the things to be on track as part of the test you see uh, we once we know the current status of the testing and our activities and our work done okay till now then how much remaining time is there based on that we can anyone can say that okay anyone can say that we are lagging behind or we are on track as per the plan we are testing or we are lagging somewhere we need to provide more efforts to complete the things on time right so are we going out of track or we are on the track or we are ahead of the track everything we can come to know with the help of this metrics okay metrics will help us like that and many other things are possible many other advantages are possible with the help of this software testing metrics so hope guys with this exam uh, with this uh, explanation uh, hope that uh, you understood what are the software testing metrics and what are their advantages uh, okay so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.